Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you guys may be aware, it's the final week of season 10. There's only seven days left and I know so many of you are really trying hard to achieve your competitive goals. So good luck in that. Um, I thought now would be a better time than ever to reflect on what I loved and hated about the past season of competitive. Um, so yeah, make yourselves comfortable and let's get into this video. Before, I wish I So this past season of Overwatch has been quite the roller coaster. I've had many great moments with friends, with you guys on stream, and there's been times where I really wanted to go for that SR where I just played game after game, but at the same time there were there were just weeks where I just didn't want to touch this game at all, where I was so frustrated with the teams that I was getting, with what was happening in game, like I was at the point of literally like punching my computer screen. To start off with the positives, I think my favorite thing about season 10 was the introduction of Brigitte. I think that's how you pronounce her name. I know a lot of you guys are saying Brigitte, but I think it's Brigitte. Um, uh, and how she really um, changed how the game was played in the beginning, even though she did bring her own problems. Um, but I think that she was a great hero um, to add to the game and you know all, the, all her backstory and lore, her kit, I think she's a great hero overall and probably my favorite um, change about this past competitive season because before Brigitte was brought into the game you know Overwatch was all about the dive meta the Winstons, Divas, Genjis and it made playing um, Symmetra and Mercy quite difficult so Brigitte really allowed us as support players I think to have more breathing space and to um, not be dove so heavily. Now don't get me wrong, I do know that she's very frustrating to play against when you're playing flanker heroes or tanks, but overall I think it's great that, you know, that at least you have some sort of counter to dive. Apart from that, you guys know I love Overwatch, I love its backstory, its characters, I think it's a visually stunning game and that hasn't changed in Season 10, you know, with the additions of maps like Petra and Rialto, which I think are just beautiful maps. Unfortunately lately, that has really taken a dip and I feel like I'd rather watch other people play Overwatch than stream it myself, because there are so many problems still in the game that need to be fixed and I don't feel like they're being addressed properly. I don't know if you guys agree with me, but I just haven't been as inspired as I used to be to play this game and these are the main reasons why. So my single biggest issue with this past season of Overwatch is that it's just felt so repetitive to me. Every game feels almost the same um, and each team pretty much runs the same heroes and the game itself revolves around who can get the better Graviton Dragon combo off. In a way, playing this game has felt like going through the motions for me. It's pretty much rinse and repeat. If you don't have a Zenyatta to counter a grab dragon combo, then you're pretty much fucked. And you know that if you don't have anything to counter it, then you're probably going to lose because all it takes really is one combo for them to win a team fight. Which brings me to Hanzo because I feel like his rework has made this game increasingly um, unenjoyable for me to play. It's not just me complaining because I know so many people are experiencing the same frustration when playing with and against Hanzo and at the same time Blizzard isn't doing anything because his rework just came out and Blizzard wants people to play him. I really thought that the whole point of his rework was to make him feel better to play against so that you don't get killed randomly by a scatter arrow but now the only thing that's changed is that you die to Hanzo 10 times more than before and every game is pretty much about his ultimate. Like sorry if I'm not praising everything Blizzard does, yes they do an amazing job on a lot of things but when it comes to hero balancing I feel like Blizzard can easily like do whatever they want to some weaker heroes, nerf them to the ground but at the same time leave other heroes so strong and so broken for a period of time just so people play them and then the cycle just repeats itself. Which brings me to another thing that I hate about Overwatch Um, and sorry if I'm ranting a bit now I'm just like speaking as I think because I'm like a bit heated from <laughs> from all these things that have made me dislike a game that I love so much which is how the professional scene has completely dominated and dictated how competitive Overwatch is played at a more casual level. I think it's fantastic that Overwatch is growing as an eSport title but at the same time I hate that everyone in the game tries to copy what's done um, by the pros and that just means that at all ranks, um, every game of Overwatch is pretty much the same thing, running the same meta, the same heroes. And if you do anything that doesn't conform to that, people will most likely think that you're throwing and you'll probably be the first one to be blamed if you lose the game. Just as an example, I have 70% win rate on Symmetra and it's not because I'm trying to be a rebel and 
purposely play something that's not meta, it's because I like the hero and because I know how to make it work. But most people think I'm trolling when I pick her because she's simply not considered to be good at the moment. Which I think is so stupid, the mentality that you need to play what the pros are playing, otherwise you're trolling and throwing the game. And one last thing that has been stressing me out about this game is the fact that when you lose, it's not enjoyable at all and you feel like you've completely wasted the last 20 or 30 minutes playing the game for nothing. And I've noticed that this isn't something that you find in games such as um, Fortnite or Realm Royale because if you lose, you just simply move on to the next game. You're not constantly stressing about how you're performing and trying to win that game because you're having fun while you're doing it and if you lose, you, all you've got to do is leave and then start a new game. And honestly, I feel like this explains why there are so many Smurf accounts in Overwatch. Now, every game I play, there's at least three to six players that are playing on Smurfs. And I think it's because that they get so unmotivated to play on their main accounts that they just go on their Smurfs because there's less stress and they don't need to worry about how they perform because they don't really care about winning or losing on alternate accounts. But ironically, this completely ruins the matchmaking system. If you can imagine, if you're like a diamond player and you're versing a top 500 who's just trying to have a good time on their diamond account, it's pretty unfair, And but there's nothing stopping them from doing that. Anyway guys, I think you've heard me rant enough. Long story short, I love this game. I really do. I've played it for a long time, but I feel like there's so many issues still that need to be fixed with Overwatch that aren't really being noticed or taken care of. Um, and it's kind of made the game slowly more and more unplayable for me, especially with each new season of the game. I know that Blizzard is taking steps to address some of these issues, for example the endorsement system, but it's definitely not enough, and I hate to say this, but it is slowly killing the game. If you want evidence of this, you don't need to look anywhere further than my stream. Last night, apparently, me and my potato stream were, was the fifth most popular Overwatch channel on Twitch, and that's pretty sad. Like, I know that it was probably a bad time for my American viewers, but hello, America isn't the only place that this game is being played. And it's clearly a sign that a lot of streamers have moved on from Overwatch and aren't streaming the game anymore. Um, and that should be ringing some alarm bells for Blizzard, I don't know. But anyway, it's crazy how I can love and hate a game so much at the same time. Please let me know what you guys think. I, I'm sorry if I was being too brutally honest in this video, but these are just my thoughts and um, if you have any thoughts of your own, please let me know down in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.